Stand on business, like literally. Hold your head high. Lift your shoulders up, okay? Confidence all 2024. She gon' block her in the two, like who you watch? You need, nah, you need, nah, yeah. You need, nah, you need, yeah. You need, nah, you need, yeah. You need, nah, 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 you need. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nala. If you are new, and if you're a return subscriber, welcome back to the channel. So, honestly, I'm not finna do that extra intro and all that, cause I've been well long enough gone. Let's just say we know that's not needed because I like not necessarily owe in a way, but I do like owe an explanation. Not that I really do, but you know, y'all probably don't care for it, but for the ones who do care, I'm here and I'm well and I am alive for those who don't know. Y'all can see me. I just really wanted to come and talk to y'all. This video is just going to be like a, just to talk to y'all. I feel like what better way is it for me to come back on my channel than to just, you know, talk to y'all. Just tell y'all a little bit of stuff. Like, honestly, this not even going to be no update on my life. I'm just going to be talking to y'all because I just felt like I need to do that. And I'm not going to lie, y'all. I was like, let me take it back to the old ways, old days and pull out the ring light, you know. So, tell me if I like the camera. And I hope the camera don't look bad because if it don't, I'm going to post it. Yeah, I am. Also, I'm in my comfort zone. It's like 9 something right now, y'all. So, I'm in my comfort zone. So, the appearance, we not, we don't care too much about the appearance right now, okay? Also, y'all, I got this burn on my, I don't know y'all, ow. It's like on my skin. I mean, on my, like right under my neck. And I'm trying to figure out where did that come from. I'm trying to figure out did the fly iron do that? Like, when did that get there? Because I just, like, today, I just realized that it was there. But, yeah, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because, y'all, when I tell y'all, it's been a journey and it's been a ride, okay? trying to get back to this channel and be consistent and get productive and just get into the mental space for y'all i honestly just had to like not even from youtube itself like i just stopped recording like i didn't take no break i'm not gonna do all that everybody else be doing i had a mental break um and before i took a mental break i was already not recording but i took a mental break from everything i just was like take a step back and find myself again um, and I really had to do that, y'all. And sometimes it is really necessary and really needed. And I had to do that before we came into a new year. Because y'all, we is in 2024, baby. It's a lot of good things going on this year. I can feel it in my spirit, y'all. But, no, for real, for real. Um, I wanted to just take a mental break and get myself back together. Get my mindset and my head space and my spirit back right in 2023. Because I was like, oh, no, man, we're not going into 2024 like this, okay? Um, and, y'all, if y'all see the light glare, my TV is on. Um, it's not playing, but I ain't wanted to look that dark in here. So, I had to have some type of other light other than this ring light. But... Yeah, y'all, my Christmas was good. Honestly, um, I thought I saw something, y'all. Anyways, my Christmas was really good, y'all. Um, my New Year's was good. Honestly, yeah. Um, I did have, like, I still was, you know, trying to develop and make my, but not make, but better myself, um, over time during the break but i definitely just will give it like looking back at it now overall i'm glad i did what i did it was really good y'all but yeah y'all um i know my hair looks black it's not black my hair was never black actually it's always been like a very very dark brown um it looks black or like a really really dark brown because i'm in the dark but I honestly, y'all don't mind my edges. I know they look bad, but like I said, I'm in my comfort zone, okay? This is what I wore today. This is my hairstyle. It just was neater. But, yeah, y'all. Um, What was I about to say? Oh, yeah. Um, If y'all watch my video back in August when I had got my nose, I mean, my nose, I'm thinking... I'm looking at my nose piercing and thinking about my hair. I'm talking about when I got my hair dyed. Y'all know the color that it was. I really can't describe the color because the color was not like a color name. She just kind of mixed some colors and threw it in my head, which is 
it's okay because i love the color the result was wonderful um but i do want to like try something new i was like what if i go bob but i was like no i'm not gonna go bob <laughs> no but i do want to dye my hair again i just um i want to get it treated first not necessarily treated because my hair actually has been treated um but i just want to like get it trimmed you know get it professionally washed styled you know the good stuff like that because my hair honestly y'all my hair is my my hair has actually gotten really long and this is a high ponytail okay this is just a high ponytail so imagine how it looks when it's not a ponytail but i do need to get it trimmed because um when I did get my hair dyed, she did trim it, um, and she also cut the front and layers, which I asked for layers, but now that I'm looking back at it, my ponytail looks really uneven. Like, some of it is up here, some of it is down here, in the middle, right there. So, some of it is like very layered, which is, when you have it straightened in a certain style, it is really, really cute. But I do want to um, either get it all cut evenly, which I know it was going to be looking very short than what it is now. Or I'm just going to get it trimmed and let it grow um, normally how it should. Because I know even if I get it trimmed or cut evenly, it's still not going to grow back evenly, which I'm perfectly fine with. But I don't know. i just been thinking about that. That's been something on my mind lately. I also want to get some new piercings um, as far as my ears. I want to get a piercing up here. Um, and I also think think I want to get a trade use piercing, but I'm not sure yet. But I don't know, guys. We will see in due time. That's nothing, not nothing, nor here or there. No time soon. Just something I was thinking about, y'all. Also, y'all know the school semester has started, and I am actually very happy with my classes. Um, I actually only have two classes currently. Um, no. Actually, I'm enrolled in four classes, but realistically, I only have two classes because I'm doing work-based. So, um, and I also have dual enrollment classes, which is college classes online. So, I don't have to go to school for those. Um, I can just do it from home, and then I'll go to school from 9.45 to 11.05, I think. And then I have another class that's 11.10 to one but it's a like a 30 minute lunch period in between it a 30 minute to an hour lunch period in between it, i think so yeah y'all that's that um but i am right now doing all four of the classes that i'm enrolled in because um until the doing the enrollment starts and the work based learning program starts i can't actually not come to school because they're going to count me absent and y'all know i'm a senior so you girl cannot have any absences um or tardies this semester but you know being that i do get to come to school later than i won't necessarily be um tardy because my problem is i just don't like to get up in the morning but yeah y'all your girl the college acceptance letters has been coming in i'm still applying to more colleges i'm still trying to weigh my options out um i know what kind of career fit i want to go into it's just kind of trying to balance out what college i want to go to for this specific career um i'm still doing research because i still have, i know i have a lot to learn but honestly yeah y'all 2023 has taught me a lot and i feel like 2023 was the year that god was preparing me for 2024 um yeah and i honestly feel like that's that's just not for me that pertains to a lot of people not saying for everybody but you know for a lot of people um and honestly it was a point in time during my mental break where i could say it seemed like i was like going ghost in a way or something like that but i feel like i wasn't going ghost or distance people i mean i feel like i was and it's like is that okay no but when it comes to your mental health and when it comes to you i feel like it's important um and i feel like it's a selfish thing i just feel like you know communication has always been the mm, actually I'm not going to say communication has always been the key. I'm going to come back to that. But I will say communication is a good thing. So when you not saying like, hey, I'm about to go ghost or I'm about to go have a mental break. So I need to, you know, distance myself. I won't be talking to you for such and such. But, you know, some type of form of communication is good. I didn't do that. But 
it's perfectly fine because my the people my peers my friends they understand me so when i was able to communicate with them they were well aware and they were very understanding um and that's another thing make sure y'all like in 2024 that don't have no type of friends it's like a oh she not talking to me she ain't text me she think it's some pressure oh it's weird mm -mm, we ain't doing that 2024 okay let's not okay and that's why i'm glad like my friends they understand me to a point where they don't have that type of animosity or nothing like that shout out to my girl tati what um also angel because there's times where it's like angel she don't understand that when she, the times that she texts me like it'll be like one day after month she was like hey i know we haven't talked in a minute but you know just checking up on you love you proud of you you know i'm praying for you stuff like that and it's like dang i needed that and it's like god's time is always right because she be popping up sometimes and just like yeah sometimes and you know what's crazy she probably will never know this but sometimes her name and her her presence is placed not presence but like i see her okay um y'all won't be able to explain but it's like i see her presence and my i feel her presence in my spirit and it's just like dang like i'm so proud of angel and then it's like she turned around and ended up saying something like that later to me weeks later a month later days later and i'm just like dang but yeah y'all um and tati my girl tati is very supportive like tati taught me that you don't have to be friends with somebody for a long time to see that they're a real genuine friend and that's another thing you're going to be able to tell if you're if you have a friend that's genuine and a real friend it doesn't take a long friendship even though i do have um friendships a few not necessarily that many but a few where we have been friends for a long time and i know that they're a real friend really genuine but I could just say Tati has been one of my most supportive friends, okay? And same for me to her as well. I'm proud of my girl. But, yeah. Anyways, let's hop on to that communication thing. I was about to say communication is the key, but mm, mm, on second thought, I seen this quote or this post that somebody made on Instagram and it was like, you can communicate to somebody however much you want to if they don't comprehend it is wrapped because you know that and then i had to think about it i was like dang that is so true you could be talking to somebody and communicating and it's like yes yeah, a good thing that you're communicating but that thing could be going through one ear and out the other if they don't understand what you're saying it's a silent conversation in reality let's be real let's talk about it I'm just talking by Twitter. I'm just going to be talking to y'all. But another thing with communication, all right, and I'm tired of communication, but I guess it could. A lot of people was like, they were standing on business on 2023. Make 2024 your stand on business. Yeah, okay. Because I feel like a lot of people, no, I feel like when people use hear the term stand on business, they don't understand the term. And I know some people use it joking, jokingly, but it's some people who actually literally be like, I'm trying to stand on business and they don't know what they're saying. Like from how I've seen people realistically use it, it's like you're not getting treated right or you're, you know, getting treated carelessly and you, you know, you're going to stop talking to that person who's treating you that way. So you're going to stand on business. Like you're not going to keep getting disrespect. You're not going to keep getting put up with somebody who's very careless of you, you know? So I just was like, you know, we're going to make 2024 a stand on business year. You're going to get in your word, get in that Bible, sister, brother, cousin, uncle, you know, y'all going to work hard, be determined, get in them school books, study, okay? That business you want, let's get to it. If you want to be a content creator, let's get to it. You want to be a, a baker, a chef, a cook, let's get to it, okay? Do what you got to do. Make it your, and don't, and that's another thing. Don't make 2024, uh, oh, stand on business, like, oh, I'm not going to talk to her no more. I'm not going to talk to her no more. I'm done dealing with this person, that person. I'm not get, I'm not going to put up with that no more. Yes, that's a part of standing on business, but also stand on business, like, literally. Like, literally, okay? Literally, like, get your money work hard be successful like 
especially for the people who, for my seniors okay for the for class of 2024 because this is this is the year okay where we have to actually progress into the real life okay so also for my upcoming juniors oh if y'all i think i'm gonna do a freshman high school video now i'm just doing high school y'all that just gave you a video idea okay i'm gonna do a high school video now also for my seniors i'm not gonna go too much into like i'm not gonna make this a high school video because i'm just talking but at the same time not even just seniors this generation people in general everybody okay let's just say the whole world it's time that as a individual you reflect back on yourself and y'all need to learn that using profanity as an everyday language is not cute okay it's not it shows that you have no knowledge okay it shows that you're you are not intelligent enough to use actual words and that you have to use a cuss word to talk to speak <laughs> turn off we're not doing that absolutely not it's time that we bump up the confidence, okay? Hold your head high. Lift your shoulders up, okay? Confidence all 2024. All 2024. Also, for y'all who haven't made vision boards, make one. I'm telling you, I haven't made one yet. And it is never too late to make a vision board, okay? Because people feel like, oh, I got to do one right before 2024. No, it's all right. I, it's January it is January 8th and I haven't had made a vision board yet. Um, I could have been made one, honestly. That's my fault, but trust, I'm gonna make one. It's never too late to make one. You can make one on digitally. Y'all know technology, it's a real good one, but I feel like making a paper one and framing it or however you wanna do it, get creative, make it cute. That's a really good way to vision board and hang it up so you can see it. So it's something you look at every day like, this is what I work, this is what I want to work towards. Honestly, I feel like everybody should make a vision board. And I feel like if you haven't done so yet, let's get to it. Okay. It ain't nothing to go to Pinterest and find some pictures. It ain't nothing to go to CVS, Walgreens, print out some pictures. It ain't nothing to go to the, okay. I think the camera look weird. I don't know. Cause the setup probably got messed up. I'm not sure y'all, but. That was my girl Tati calling. She said, hey y'all. What was I talking about before I left? I don't remember. Also, y'all, I just want I just thought about something I wanted to point it out too. Somebody asked me, literally they asked me this in 2023 in December. They was like, if somebody asked you what's something that you learned, or if you had to make a summary of one thing of what's the most important thing that you learned. Um, in 2023, what could it be? And I was like, oh, that's a good one. Like, I had to actually think about it because some people be like, don't let people run over you, stand on bend, da 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 da. Mm -mm. I had to really think about it for a quick second. And y'all wanna know what my response was? I told them, when somebody shows you their true colors, stop trying to paint a different picture. Yeah, that was one of my biggest lessons that I learned 2023, honestly. And it's a lot. Like, I can go down the whole list, but really, really, that was one of my main ones. I know that I haven't recorded, like, I haven't been giving y'all, like, the cheer vlogs. It's all right. It's coming. I know y'all want productive vlogs again. It's all right. That's coming. Y'all want senior content, senior footage. I feel like the only two senior things y'all seen was my me getting ready for um, senior year, my senior transformation, and homecoming. Because did I have, did I record senior night? I don't think I recorded senior night. I'll put some pictures in there for y'all some, but I don't think I recorded senior night. But yeah, y'all. It was honestly a really good semester for me. But yeah, yeah, I'm not going to keep rambling and, you know, just talking y'all heads up because y'all probably like, all right, we got it, girl. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, to the channel, to the channel. Ready and she classy, she back at it, dropping back to back, baby. No, she the shit, don't do no bad.